Hey there, Nicole here with part two of our technical and quality audit for our DFY SEO campaign. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at the Google Search Console elements. It's really imperative that you supply access to the Google Search Console with your campaign uh, or let us know that it needs set up so that we can get it done right away because this is one of the first things we're going to look at when we do your audit before we ever set anything up. Uh, it's also something that we're going to use for monthly reporting for your campaign. So it's really important to have this as soon as possible, as well as analytics, although we aren't going to look at analytics uh, for this. And also, we're going to need your site access, admin level access. Uh, in case there are any issues, we can go in and start addressing those right away. We don't have to you know, go back and forth with things that need to be changed and hoping that you get them implemented on your side. So. Looking at Search Console, the first thing we're going to do is log into it and we're going to go to your specific URL. Uh, we're going to start by looking at the performance, I believe. Yep. Uh, so here we're going to go and we're going to set the data set for the last 16 months. Apply that. And then uh, we're going to download pages, queries, and devices all in CSV format. I'm going to start with pages. I know that's a little out of order, but that's how we upload them. So pages, queries, give it a second, and devices. There we go. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to upload each of these to the respective column under this performance section. So. And I'm just going to upload these in the same uh, order that I have downloaded them. There we go. So there's your pages. Here is queries. And here is devices. Get that one. So what this is going to do, this is going to give us a good overview of the history of your site. And we're looking at the click-through rate specifically. We're going to try to improve that. Uh, you can see for query, these click-through rates are pretty good. But page by page, we're not looking so great. And our click-through rate is not very good for desktop, mobile, or tablet. So these are some things that we aim to address throughout the campaign. And um, this is just giving us a really good starting point uh, to look at for each site that we're working with. So we're going to go ahead and check performance. I'm not going to notate that there's really anything to look at there. Having low click-through rate is actually pretty common with a lot of the sites we work with. So, um, And again, the campaign overall is going to try to address some of those things. The next thing we're going to look at is coverage. So I'm going to go here, and we're going to download this report. I'm going to go ahead and upload that to the coverage tab. Alrighty, and again, this is just kind of a check for us so that we know where we're starting at. Uh, we have a couple of errors. We have some warnings. Uh, we have some excluded items, uh, which is, yeah, these are all. All right, so these are some things we're going to look at. Again, just a good starting point for what we're doing with your campaign. We're going to mark that off. Uh, we do have some coverage issues, but it's not. Ooh, there we go. So we have no index URLs being submitted. We have server errors. So these are things that we are going to look at. Um, and I just want to come back and grab those real quick. Oops, check no on that. We have server errors. Alrighty. Open an extra one of those. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is your sitemaps. So we're going to come in here and we're going to pull that report if necessary, but it looks like our sitemaps are good. So we're going to just go ahead and notate that no errors. Mobile and usability, there's a couple ways that we look at this. You can see there's another one down here. Uh, this mobile and usability is through Search Console. You just come over here, and we do have some issues. We have clickable elements too close together, content wider than screen. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. 
and I'm going to notate it here. So we check that there are issues we have. And I can never remember both things. Alrighty. We're also going to look at manual actions and security issues, which I believe I looked at these earlier. They should be right. So manual actions, there's no issues here. If there are issues, we're going to reach out to you right away and let you know uh, whether we can fix those. If we can, what we're going to do about them. If not, what you need to do about them. But we're looking good here. Security issues, no issues detected. Same thing with manual actions. If there is something here, we're going to reach out to you right away and work on getting that addressed. But for these, We've checked both, really quick checks, no issues here. Uh, and that's all there is to the Google Search Console audit. So again, I'm going to take these things that we've notated and I'm going to add them to your campaign notes. And these are things that we're going to look at addressing or we're again going to do these in the write up so you can see uh, what these issues might be and how we go about fixing them. That's all there is to the Google Search Console items. Uh, I'm also going to go and show you these two real quick, and then we'll talk about the keyword cannibalization in a different video. That is a different process. So for the schema, I normally check definitely the target page. If the home page is not the target page, we're going to look at that as well. We're using this Google Structured Data Testing tool. Just going to run that real quick. It's usually a little bit faster. So. I'm going to come back to this one in a second. I'm also going to show you the mobile check we do. Uh, and in this case, I'm seeing the page is not mobile friendly. Now, I do know that we have an app version of the site, which is what we use for mobile users. Uh, so this is not as big of an issue as it looks at first glance. However, Google does practice mobile first indexing. So this is an issue that we most likely are going to need to look into. And again, we're seeing the same two errors that Search Console pulled because this is essentially the same uh, platform. This will just give you some additional details about pages and JavaScript that aren't working correctly. So again, we're going to come back to the audit for mobile usability. This was checked, but there are issues and I'm just going to paste this down here. We've already notated that it doesn't need to be notated again. Uh, we also look at page speed and GT metrics, and this one is returning both a uh, fully load time, a low fully load time, and a lower score. So here what we're going to do is we're going to download the report. We don't do anything with page speed, but we will check it and notate it uh, just so that you're aware there might be load issues. And in some cases, this kind of returns a false positive. Uh, you'll see your score is low, but your load time might be like two seconds, uh, in which case we just kind of notate, hey, here are some things that you could improve for your site, but overall your page speed's fine. So this is going to go right into your site health folder. And that's not on this sheet, so not something you're going to see notated, but it is something that you look at. Structured data, we have this loaded. It looks like we're not seeing any errors or warnings, which is good. Uh, again, we can check a bunch of top level pages. If there's several pages we're targeting for your campaign, we'll check a couple of them in here three, four, five max. Uh, and again, we check the home page and the target page primarily. There may or may not be other pages that we look at. So that's all there is to that. And we can go ahead and check the schema with no errors. So there's nothing different that I would need to add to this note sheet. Uh, and that's pretty much the entirety of the audit. Again, we're going to look at keyword cannibalization in a separate video. That one works through a separate auditing sheet. Uh, which you are also going to find in your uh, folder. And we're also going to look at this PQRG audit in addition to that. So that about covers the first three quarters of your audit. But if you have any other questions or concerns at this time, please let us know.